He's got there, football there is from the Oakland, Oakland I mean, California. I the pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Detroit Lions. I mean, I mean, come, I mean, come, come, talk to me after the and season. And that'll carry man. over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. I never said you were. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember. Um, yeah, I'm kind of am. Set at eighty. Fifty-six, right there, right there. Fifty-six. <laughs> On first down, Swift. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. You can't rock me. You can't rock me. You can't rock me. Tell about Dunlap. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Watch Twitch. Undercook. Undercook. They'll run on first down. Swift. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll try the air now with Stafford. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Oh, oh and my God! After my getting this one across the forty. Man. Oh my God, that was the first time. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 30. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Damn, you, you, you talk, you talking all that crazy made Jim leave the party. Now a fake on the give here as oh they try God. to run pass option. And his guys are going to take yeah. over at the 39-yard line. He's coming off a three interception performance last week, so certainly not how he wanted to start here. Not at all, but this is where a quarterback gets tested. This is where we find out what he has underneath that jersey. Because he had a bad game last week. Can he shake off a bad start to this one and start to perform at the level he expects? God damn. And now off to the races, down the right I, I hate, side. I hate playing in, in, in his new league. You can't, you, you can't use custom weapons. Josh Jacobs, his sixth touchdown of the season, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I mean, shit. Extra point by Carlson, up and I good. I mean, yeah, and I mean, I've been using custom game. playbook all year. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away. Last time Carlson. I played with a regular playbook was I can't. Remember. And this will be I mean, a I'm, touchback I'm, as that sails okay. over the end line. I'm using the Carolina. Offensive playbook, just because, you know, they have all the nice gadget plays I use, but... The Lions offense ready to kick the off their next drive. Kind of and there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the ending, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, one thing that matters is part two, right? Um, I just do another pick. Damn. 
Picked off near the 29. And he takes I don't know who number 57 is, but he just picked up two two my passes. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13 nothing early Man, on. Go ahead. back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Yes. 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 Ball. Yes. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Yeah, Oscar. today have, That's have the not been a good that day means everybody for me, find man. someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. I mean, I do, I do have Jackson and the Lions Tommy offense Stevens ready, ready to kick off their points. next drive. Oh, and job one here, Charles, just keep possession. Of the two drives, two turnovers at this point. You're exactly yeah, right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath: first, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Doctor Davis. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter. You're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Stafford. Oregon signee for the 2021 draft class has been charged with eight counts. Two and he's going to have this down deep into Oakland territory. And big play there on the University catch and run. 64 yards. yards. Damn, what the fuck is that? Flipper there is all of a sudden. Attempted first degree murder, first degree assault, shooting with intent to kill. Bomb battle. Ground game here with a tailback. He can't get him down. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped I mean, short of the 10. Two yards that time. Crazy. A stark contrast from the big chunk Carter's of the previous play. Caught his ex-girlfriend. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL Shot game. But the key to good kills. rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the no, edge. Like a, the last run good I'm for two. He Here's second and eight. That she got together with him, and he went and hunted him down. The first of these he never took. No chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Max. He pulled a guy that was the intended target though, leaving his name out because he's still a minor. The intended target was and that's and there to drop yeah. him for a six-yard loss. And that was a fourth over three. He hasn't even graduated yet. And the 12-year veteran knocks it um, right through. A white car pulled it outside of the Chris Holmes. He was playing basketball in the driveway. Shot seven times. So they do get three and points. And he's the final three drives with only the three he points. Not a ratio that's going to win times. you many ball oh, games. Oh, okay, not okay. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. not good at which drives. And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football? Man, oh my fucking God. Man, I just gave up my first, he goes first kick up and kind of like the kick blew my ass. The Raiders able to extend that advantage. Such an electric yeah, play, I, I, so I much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, that, don't do you? you? Without a doubt, that's what that's teamwork. I got a hard to, to, to put it all together, but that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of do. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off yeah. their next drive. And it's tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They'll run it here with Logan. And an alley to run. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and the yeah, Lions have I, a first I saw, down. I saw you got, I, I saw you got two L Suggs. I'm like, damn. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. On first and ten, Stafford. We're going to set up the screen here. This is Grant. And he's going to be brought down on what will be Damn, the final play. I don't know, who, I don't know who's 57 is on we are fucking fatals, but one. this motherfucker is covering the entire field. Sports. 
They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. This is Grant. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. First down, Lions. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. We go set, 250. Hey, 5-0. All day, defense, all day, all day. Hey, Delta. Target, 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 target. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Hey, orbit. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That's to his running back, carry on Johnson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I think the good offensive coordinators of the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. Crater for the extra point. And that I, I will really get him one closer. Kick the ball to Henry Bucks again. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This one taken and from the I center. Kicked him, I kicked him the ball again. Stop and he'll this. take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense maybe they're expecting a run here. Parker, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it big time John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Three, three, three. Mariota now from the 50. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. So about five sacks last week, we just saw their first one of this game. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. It didn't happen on that play. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. Yeah, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up a second and nine at the 36-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, I'm seven. 55, check, 55. Stafford now to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right, got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Mm. Oh my God. Here in this half, it's intercepted. Nevin Lawson with a pick. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. So now two pick sixes that he's thrown in this first half of play. Where do you go from here? Well, number one, make sure you keep your poise. Make sure you go to the sideline after throwing this second one and you look like you're still in charge, that you're still the guy, because your team's going to feed off of you. And if you're having your hands on your head or shaking your head and walking with your head down, guess what? They're not going to rally at all. Accelerating, and off he goes. Touchdown, Detroit. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. Crater on to add the extra point. As we know on every team, head coach, offensive coordinator, defense coordinator, we often forget about the special teams coordinator. They pay him too. And boy, is he excited about what his team just did. A big time return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. So we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. On second down, Mariota again. Flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down. Space to maneuver at the 40. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touch.
The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively here's second and seven now from the 28 To throw is Mariota. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Third and long here for Mariola. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now on second and 13, Stafford escapes the sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Corey Littleton just creating a disaster there for the offense as that one goes 16 yards in the wrong direction. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he's going to go down again. Cleland Farrell in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. A first down throw for Mariota. Steps away to his left. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Mariota. Now he's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Tyrell Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On second and 12, Stafford will try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. A first throw for the backup, Jackson. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 43. Uh, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there I think will pay off for them. Add the game here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one. They stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick, and he's able to get it back here to the 40. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your? It's a foot race. He's at the 30. They will finally be taken down. But how about that play? It's a big order. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. On second and goal, Mariota eluding the pressure. And the pressure gets to him again. Off the edge, the sack by Reggie Ragland. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose, and this is scooped up by the Lions. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10, and into the end zone, a scoop and score, a touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Complete. 
Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. To me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. The Raiders on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 14. Now Carr. And a throw there going to be incomplete. It was Desmond Trufant right there, step for step in coverage. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And an alley to run. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever is, whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. At that 18-yard line. Ready? 50, play Hey, 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 hey. Mike 56, Mike 56. Watch the run, watch the step. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there for Detroit. 54 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Cleland Farrell able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Look at the throw. Stevens. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Looking to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth quarter. Going for some big plays. Yeah, they certainly were. They just decided one shot, didn't they? Forget trying to move the ball downfield in small little increments. Let's go for the big one. But how about the defense playing situational football, looking at the scoreboard and realizing what can hurt us most? The deep shot. They played it well. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 15-yard line. On first down, Grant. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now again, right side. It's Grant. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Six yards in the wrong direction that time. Not only that, but it brings up fourth. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Prater's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So a minute and change to go, and this is going to be an onside kick. 
So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Carr going to throw here. It's caught by Aguilar. Seven yards on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Carr. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. There he goes right side. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth, take some gambles. I, I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. The throw once more on second and ten. Carr, the attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Now Carr drops this off to Richard. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. That right there is what Jalen Richard can bring to this offense. I mean, last year, yes, he had 55 carries, but they used him more as a receiver. He had six. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. 
It's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. In need of a third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. A costly mistake here at OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. You throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Grant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Let's go. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Ready, ready! Ten Loba. Two. To throw on second down. Stevens, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating from the gun, Stevens. He's got a rifle up. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie from Clemson, Trayvon Millen. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. We know there's already a spotlight on this rookie quarterback, an even bigger spotlight here in overtime of this game, a costly pick. No doubt about that, but here's the key. Game's not over. He may very well get another shot at this thing, so now he's got to go to the sideline, hope his defense picks him up, and be ready to go back out there and maybe make a similar throw, hopefully successfully the next time. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time he hand the ball to a back. It's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will... Still catching our breaths from that electric finish. You get into overtime, that's one thing. It was a great four quarters. But then an OT, not only to win it, but to win it on a defensive score. Wow. Oh, definitely. And I think from now on, we're going to definitely travel someone who can help us because I thought I was going to pass out at the end. <laughs> Not just getting to the overtime, but the plays in overtime that led to this one and to finish it on a defensive touchdown, a takeaway that gets into the end zone. I'm not rooting for anyone, but boy, I love to see games finish that way. So for Detroit, they'll finish the first half of the schedule dead even at 4-4. Four and four. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for Oakland, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.